Os Yud. We got down a little ways, but it's just it's a summary of of the whole first two mimers here, because we're going to conclude this second mimer. And what he says is essentially that the job of a Jew is to turn over darkness to light, turn the shtus to kedusha, shtus to the ula ula Stus of Leumadze, it's just very, very good. It's my Mishkov. Stus of Leumadze into Stus of Kedusha. Turn the, the Sheker into Krashim. And basically refine the world. And this is how every Jew can do this. Kol Echad ve Echad. In his avoda of Esekator of Akiva Mitzvah. We, we tr- transform the feeling of worldliness and the foolishness of just being in a goof and so forth, bodily things, into something which is above Das. And uh, we'll take it from about nine lines down from chapter Yud. Let me. Nine lines up. Down. Nine lines down. The line starts the Im Noam, and it goes to there's a period there at the, in the middle. V'zeu basi lagani liginuni, and that's what it means. I've come to my garden, to my chupa l'makom shayikaru b'tachilu, to the place I originally was. The initial intention of creating the world is that we want cake. I mean, that we want Hashem wanted a dwelling place in the lowest worlds. It's like imagine if you could have cake and chasidus at the same time. You can't, but imagine if you could. It just doesn't work like that, man. Your head is either in the cake or it's in the... In the, the the real pleasure of God. Should a little iskafi wouldn't hurt in the middle of Hasidic class once in a while. At least, at least. Uh, like leave it here. Is that like too like? That's perfect. Just look at that thing the whole wow. class. Really? That's good. Mm. Look at that brownie. Wow. Anyway. Just look at that brownie. So the idea is that uh, Hashem's in, initial desire was that there should be a dwelling place in the lowest worlds. Um, and how is it ac- accomplished? Through a person having a skafi and his hapcha. The whole purpose of creation is, is, is basically looking at it and not going for it. Because that's just as absurd. <laughs> eating it is completely animalistic. Not eating it is also ridiculous. But it's ridiculous in the realm of Kedusha. So it creates shtus to Kedusha. And a person who does this, right? A person, so now we're on the second from the last line from the bottom. It says, Adam shahu osei A person who does this, Hayosheves Baganim. Alright, so he's going to kind of wrap it up. The whole mimer is called Yosheves Baganim. He who sits in gardens. Now, what is gardens? Ganim hem beis bechin is ganeden. Gardens is the two levels of the of the Garden of Eden above. Ganeden tachton, ganeden elyon, which represents basically Yitzira and Bria usually. And he who sits in gardens, who's that? It's basically the souls who are watching us from above. Each one according to the level that they achieved through their service in this world. So the line goes on. Right, he who sits in gardens. Right, so if you go back to the original verse from Shira Shirim, he who sits in gardens, friends, listen to your voice, listen to me. Right, this, so he's saying. He who sits in gardens represents the souls above. They're called Chaverim. The Lafami Neshaman Neshaman Natselas, he says, because they're all Chaverim, because they're they're up there together. In fact, sometimes they're even one soul is a derivative of another soul, so their mamas join together as friends. And those people, when you do this avoda, when they're sitting, your grandfather, great grandfather is looking at this cake and looking at you, looking at the cake, he's loving life. He's right now Makshivim Lakol Haoskim Batorah Mitzvah. He's listening suddenly to the voice. Of you who sits and learns Torah mitzvahs in this world. That's what it means, Hashmini. That Hishmini means, hear me. In other words, those who sit in gardens are suddenly listening. Shema gormi iloi b'maylas alias on the Because this is what, why are they listening to you? Because you're causing them to have an aliyah of the neshama right now. Because you're drawing into this world the avoda of the mishkan. 
you sh- bring into this world this, this essential level of the sovev. So you, dr- you bring all the worlds to have an aliyah. So they're all watching and listening and waiting for us to do this. Okay, so that's, that's one. And, and I don't know if you remember from the first os, but we said there was two perush. We brought two different explanations of what it means. He who sits in gardens. One was that it was referring to those who sit in gardens with the, sort of the angels above. Right, or the souls above, and they're the ones sitting in gardens, the, gar- the idea of the Garden of Eden, and they're listening to us because we're occupied in Torah. There's another perush that we said over there as well. We're the ones sitting in gardens, not the, angel- the angelic worlds, but we're sitting in gardens because Hashem says to the Jewish people, Ata you who are scattered in the gullus, and yet. And you're, you're busy pasturing in the gardens of other people. You don't have control of your own place. And yet we find ourselves in the base medrash and so forth. Nonetheless, we, we, we connect. As it says, I spread you out to the four corners of the heavens. We don't find ourselves at home anywhere. Nevertheless, we still find ourselves somehow sitting in the shuls, connecting to Hashem. Lasok Torah, to occupy ourselves in Torah. Morning. O befrat kevius itim the Torah barabim, particularly when we get together and make fixed times to learn Torah together in public, like now. Even though it's freezing outside, and even though there's not a lot of heaters in here, and even though the cake would be much better, and the, certainly the bed would be much warmer, but nonetheless, we're crazy. We're going to come together and talk about God. Hine chaverim she malachi ashare shenikra chaverim. They're there for the friends who are called the ministering, ministering angels. They're called friends. Why are they called friends? Because they don't have They don't have any jealousy, not any hatred. They don't have any competition because they're up angels. They listen to our voices. So it's another perush. Anyway, that's the point is he's saying that either way you look at it, whether... He who sits in gardens is the, is the souls above, or he who sits in gardens is us. The point is, is that due to the fact that we're doing the avoda, the, the angels are listening to us and we're filling the, wor- the heavenly worlds with light. We can't see it, but we are. Okay, Va'al Shem Zeh, moving on. Therefore, Nikroi Yisrael Tzivus Hashem. The Jewish people are therefore called the legions of God. You know, when we do this work, we, we, we get this title called the legions of God. As it says, from this week's Parsha, in the essence of the day, the, all the legions of God went out from Eretz Mitzrayim. What does it mean, Tzivos Hashem? It's referring to us. The legions of God went out of Mitzrayim. It's referring, of course, to the Jewish people. As it says elsewhere, in the same notion, in the essence of the day, Hashem brought all of the Bnei Yisrael from Mitzrayim, al tzivosam, according to their legions. So we see that the Jewish people are called legions. Tzivos Hashem. So what is this special name that we have? We're called the legions of Hashem. The Shem Tzivakos lo nizkar b'Torah because Hashem is also called sometimes Hashem Tzivakos, right? It's one of the seven names that you can't erase. But we don't find that name is found in the Torah. It's only found in the, in the Nevim and the Ksuvim, the prophets and the writings. But Hashem is not called by His holy name Tzivak, Tzivakos in the actual Chumash. It comes later. But the Jewish people are called by the name Tzivos Hashem. So what is this name all of a sudden that it's like a godly name? The Jewish people are called by this name. And yet it's not found in the Torah. V'kan kore es Yisrael Tzivos Hashem. Here we are called by the name Tzivos Hashem. V'kein miyetzis Mitzrayim maskil Tzivosam dafkin. Why dafkin when it came out of Egypt? That's when we get this title. K'moshe kasu ki be'etzim ayom hazeh hotesi es Tzivos Eichem. As it says, on this essential day, in the essence of the day, I, I, which is talking about Mitzrayim, I brought out your legions from Mitzrayim. So what's it all about? So this word, Tzavah, 
It has three different meanings. One, Lashen Chayu. The first meaning is soldier. Base Zman Mugba. The second meaning means a fixed temporary time. As it says, isn't there a fixed time for man on the earth? And the word is Tzava. So the word Tzava also means a fixed time. And the third is Melashen Tzivayon. Tzvion, which means like a, 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 an array of colors, an array of things. Kadarsh Rizal, as the sages said, Al the Pasik Vayechulu Hashemayim, right? When Hashem finished the creation, right? Bekolt Tzvaam, and all of their legions, all of their, yeah? Let Tzivionam Nivru. So Tzvaam. What does it mean? There are legions there. The word Tzava means Tzivionam, which means their array. In other words, their sort of bouquet of, of many things. So it means an arrangement of, of, of many things. Tzava. So therefore it means three things. Soldier, fixed time, and an and array. Perush, the Neshama Yisrael, Hem, Im Shem, Chalukim, Madre Gassim. So how does that refer to the Jewish people that we're called an array of things? We're called Sivos Hashem. So he says, because the, the Jewish people, even though they have different levels, Valya Saga, right? Some people are, are tremendous graspers of information. Shehem Mari Torah, Mari Razin, Vesodos Eloi, Umari Chachmasa, which in general, the, the, the people who are graspers, they're, they're, they're based on their intelligence, they're also divided into different parts. Masters of Torah, masters of secrets, right? Deep secrets, masters of wisdom. There's also simple people. And they're called masters of good deeds. They fulfill the Torah and the mitzvahs with a simple uprightness. And each one occupies himself also uh, as much as they can by supporting the Torah. Whether it's their bodies, they bring it to the shiur. And they support a, 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 a public Torah learning, where they can give money to support the yeshivas, etc. That's what it means, we're called an array. That's when something is really beautiful. When it has many colors, you don't call just a white canvas or a red canvas, you don't call it beautiful. It's when it's a mixture of all different types of things, the 12 tribes, and each one has their own sort of aspect that they add. That's called beautiful. So Tzivos Hashem also means the whole Jewish people serving each one on their level. The Geven Echad, Yofi. One color has no beauty. It's not called beautiful. I mean, it's something, but it's not called beautiful. V'davka Ribo Gavanim, only when you have a blend and a mix of colors and array. Harimam Shichim Gilu Bechinas Havaya Agdei Avodasa. So then, only when we have this ray, we're called Tzivos Havaya. Tzivos Havaya means when you get the level of Havaya, you draw down the revelation of Havaya through our Avoda when we're at Tzava. I.e., a whole group of people, everyone doing their part, like an army. But Tzava, who Hagbala Umoed. And we said also a moment ago, the second explanation was that Tzava also means a fixed time. Who al derech yami mitzaru v'lo echad, and that's what it says. Days were formed, and not one. So, in other words, the, the, in the pasuk itself, it's it's written with an aleph, but it's said with a vav. Mm -hmm. The pas the word lo. You see how it says lo is vav over here. It's spelled a little funny, yeah. because in the in the actual Tanakh, it's written with a vav, but it's read with a with a excuse me. It's written with an aleph, but it's read with a vav. It's called the Ksiv and the Kri. Sometimes you have, that happens a lot. So the idea is that what he's saying here is that days are formed and not one. In other words, in other words or to him one. You can read it either way. But the point is that you have a, a certain fixed number of days on the earth. Remember, this is the mimer that the Friedrich Rebbe is giving at the very end of his life. He just uh, close the door if you don't mind. And uh, the idea being that... Um, in the first mimer, he started speaking at the very end about how a person doesn't know how long they have to stay on the world and he better put his affairs in order before he goes away. In other words, very prophetic. And here too, he sort of throws this in there that a person, that, that the word seva means a fixed time. Days are formed and you have, you have to realize that you have a, a, a limited number of, of time to work this thing out. 
There's a time of man on the earth. Every person has his own, you know, section of years that's going to be given to him, allotted to him, that were formed for him to take care of this avoda. So that's also the union of tzava. In other words, it's, we're called tzivas Hashem because we have to realize that it's now or never. Because mashlim and when a person will con- complete his days with his with his refinement process. In other words, every day is given a new opportunity to turn his animal into something godly and to do the work of making a mishkan out of himself. Biskafi habcha. Tra- subjugation and transformation, azu bechlal tzivos Hashem. That's when you become called tzivos Hashem. In other words, you're not really part of tzivos Hashem until until you're done, because all the while where you're still accomplishing it, you have not really f- concluded your fixed time, which was given to you to to make a mishkan. So it's really like at the end of your day is when you could say, okay, I finished my last, and that's when we're called tzivos Hashem. We come out of Mitzrayim, in other words, when it's over. That's what it says in the essence of the day. In other words, Be'etzam Hayom is like the Geula. When you finished your work, that's when all the Tzivos Hashem will come out of Mitzrayim. All of our sparks will be brought out from the Gullahs. The Tzivos Hashem, Hem Yisrael. And that means the Am Yisrael. We're the Tzivos Hashem. By doing the Avodah, of subjugation and transformation, we refine and purify the world, the Osi Mikesher Keresh. And we make from the, what the word Kesher, which we said was like the way that the evil forces stay, stay connected and, keep, and have their existence. A Kesher means they're tied on. We turn them into a Keresh. We transform them in the letter combination into a beam of the Mishkan. Hainu, the Makesher Olam, that from the connection of the world, it stays in its selfishness. That the world shows itself as though it exists as something independent of God. Same letter combinations of Kesher. It's called false. So the Kesher, which the world kind of keeps its own existence, is a Sheker. And that's what we have to turn into a Keresh. We have to transform it into a godliness. But you do it, the Iker, who are So when it's lying, because it's not a really a thing, its thing is the godliness which is enlivening it. It, it props itself up as though it has some kind of existence other than its source. So when we learn Torah, fulfill mitzvahs, in other words, we act crazy. We don't obey the rules of the world. We step out of it and we sort of align ourselves with some higher order. We transform this world which seems like its own independent existence, the Kesher. We transform that Sheker into a Keresh, into a beam. Shumeatse shitim omdim, which is from the the shitim wood, which is now standing, i.e., joining the top, the orange sof, all the way down to the bottom to this world, which is called the amudim, the pillars of the mitzvahs, or mechabrim orange sof, and we connect this world to the orange sof, where it seems as though it's distant and disconnected, like the snake. And therefore, the Jewish people are called Tzivos Hashem, we're the legions of God. Because that's how you bring forth the shame Havaya Hashem by being a Tzava, by being a warrior, fighting, recognizing you have a limited time to fight, and, rec- and working together as a group, each one on their own level, and being recognized in what your place is. All of that, you come out of Mitzrayim as, and reveal the shame Hashem. And he finishes off again with this sort of premonition of his passing. That Tzava is a limited time. That all their service which were given to their, their days which are formed for them and, and uh, limited for them. Each one was given his, his days to finish his life's work. So now he gives the second explanation. He says, Yam Days were formed. Velo Echad. Right? And we could read days and not one day, but like many days. But you could also read, that's with the word Lamed Aleph. Days were formed below Echad and not one. That's how it's written. But it's read, days were formed below Echad and to him is one. I.e., his days were formed in order for him to make Echad out of it all. That's why you were given days. You're not just stam given days. You're given days to Lo Echad. That you could Shayir al Yedei Hashem Echad. So you should reveal through your service, the level of Hashem Echad. That's what your fixed time is here for. Kitzer. 
You have the next page, by the way? Probably not. Mm -hmm. No. All right, we have to make copies. So to conclude this mimer and this chapter, Yamshich the Kesher Vesheker the Olam. We, can, we, we went on to saying that the connection, which is really, the, which is the seeming self of, sense of self of the world, which is really a sheker, and those words are the same letters, kesher v'sheker, of the world, na'apach l'keresh ha It's going to be transformed to a keresh of the mishkan, to make it into a beam of godliness. And through this I will come to my garden, which is my chuppah, I will rejoin and remarry the world. And what's going to happen when that happens? Chaveri makshivi. The angelic beings are going to pay attention because they're all going to get flooded with the light which we bring to the world from our avoda down here. Val shem zen nikri Yisrael tzivos lashen chayil zman tzivayon. And therefore, tzivayon. And therefore, the Jewish people are wind up with this name when we complete this work called tzivos Hashem. Because tzivos means we're warriors working with our fixed time and making oneness out of this, this finite dimension and doing it in an array of brotherhood. That's the conclusion of the second mime. Oh. Okay, so what so I want to do is actually run up and make photocopies and bear the freezing cold that, that awaits us outside. <laughs> it awaits it's you. warming up. Nice, yeah? All right, great. So guys, give me one second. I'll be back in two minutes. You want to just leave this here? You do something with that? Okay. Here I go. I'm going out there. I'll be right back. Hopefully. What's that?